it rolling? Yeah, you're good. Oh, okay, we're good. Sweet. Okay, so this is the next deck profile we're going to be doing. It is Demon Lords, uh, and the buddy is Great Demon Lord of Thunderstorm Box. All right, so um, this deck is really, uh, did you hit it? Yeah, is really powerful. Oh, I'm sorry. Being able to double attack and being able to discard a card and search for any Demon Lord from the deck. So it gives you a lot of toolbox options. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. So we're going to get started with our one of. We play one Vortex Demon Lord Drum, a Demon Lord of the Sun Ball Dragon, and a Martial Arts Demon Lord Dual Seeker. So this, uh, so the drum is a 635 with put the top card of the deck into this card stone pay gauge. So at the beginning of our attack phase, we're, if this is on our right, we're able to destroy all monsters on the opponent's left and right. So this lets us control the board by destroying their left and right. So if you're playing a heavy open center opponent, um, if this one's on the left, this one gives everything in the center plus one critical. It has penetrate and life link of two. Um, it's 10 2 3, and if it attacks alone, this attack can't be nullified. And then we have a 8 2 8 being dual seeker. He's a uh, you put two cards from the top from your deck into this card, so I'll pay four gauge. Uh, he has the built-in, uh, he has double attack and soul bar, but he also gains a triple attack by returning two Demon Lords from your drops them to the bottom of your deck in any order. So these are our one ofs that we play in the deck. Um, they're text right now to see if we want to up them or keep them where they are. Next we play two Quintessence Crystal Demon Lord of Thor. It's a 7-2-7 uh, top card deck into soul and pay two. Um, we can't be dealt by any damage dealt by card effects is reduced by one and if this is if our monster on the center and spells can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects so this helps us against like board wiping cards like infernal rule and uh, other cards like this um, it keeps like our sky palace and our our bots safe from uh, pop getting popped by effects next we play two ghoul diddy demon lord Ibuki. Pay gauge when it enters the field by an card effect, it destroys a monster on your opponent's field, and you get rid of one of their gauge and deal one damage. And a seven two six, this card is um, just helps to remove. Uh, it helps us get rid of monsters on the board that we, and that way we can save our attacks for going phase, and it gets rid of a gauge and deals damage on top of that. So this card is really strong. Next we play two um, Guardian Dragon of Demon Lord Castle Du Cross. This is 837, pay two gauge, and then put the top card of the deck into its soul. When it enters the field, you can add a destroyer element or a demon lord. Let me drop some to your hand. So this lets us reuse demon lords to say we're short of bots and we need it. We can use this to get it back, or we can add in one of our other cards that destroys stuff on the field. Next, we put four of the buddy, great thunderstorm, great demon lord of thunderstorm bots. He has the normal boss effect where it can't be destroyed on my turn. Uh, I, if it's in the center, I can discard a card to call size three Demon Lord from the deck to an open area by paying his call calls, and they become size zero. So he has double attack lifelink too, and he's a seven two seven. So this card gives Demon Lords the toolbox ability, which can really help. And hey, let's just get three, have more monsters on the board that are high crit, high level, because they're size threes, but they are reduced to zero. Next, we play four. Interstellar Great Demon Lord, Jackknife Dragon. He's a 7-2-5, you pay two, and then put the card from the drops onto its soul. So when this card attacks, if it has two or more soul, it gets double attack and penetrate. And then at the beginning of the attack phase, we can take a card from the drop zone and put it into its soul or gauge. So this helps with our gauge situation and also helps us get double attack quicker. This card uh, will just, it can turn the game around by giving us double attack and penetrate, along with bots that's already built in double attack. Next, we play three Bird Demon Lord Blade Wing Phoenix. It's pay two. It's a ten to one with pay two gauge up at the top of the deck. So when it attacks, you're able to take a Demon Lord from the drop zone, put it un to the bottom of your deck, and then destroy a card on their board. Um, this card just with double tag. It's not once per turn, so you can keep multiplying. Say you're going to get while wild, you can just keep popping them and attacking with the power. So this card is an interesting tech I'm trying right now. Three of. And finally, for the monsters, we round out with the Impact Monster Dakuras, the second manifestation of Demon Knight. So, this is pay three gauge, put it on top of a Demon Lord monster in your field. When this card enters, you can call a Demon Lord monster from your hand without paying its call cost, and it becomes a size zero. So, it's kind of like the boss, except you don't have to pay a call cost, and it's a 935. This, this card uh, is a tech right now. I um, see some decks playing and some not. Um, right now, it's doing pretty good. It just gives you an extra two attacks, or depending, it could be double attack, depending on what you call. Next, we play. Four Growls, one. 
um, pay a life to equip, it's 2-1, uh, rest it to gain a gauge, and then it reduces life link by 1. It takes care of the life link problem with some monsters and gives it an extra gauge. Uh, next, we play two golden treasure boxes. If you're six or less life, you mill the top card. If it's a monster, you draw equal to its size. Anything else, you gauge and draw. Uh, gauge and draw. So in this deck with mostly size threes, you can just play golden treasure box and then draw three. Um, again, this is just a tech to see how it works right now. I like it so far. Next, we play four hidden crossbows. Um, destroy a size. I mean, destroy a monster with three thousand less defense. So this helps when they have the link attack to get over like bots and stuff. You can just hit, just, just hitting, just hitting crossbow to, to take care of, it. and then you can use the Corsair to get it back with its effect. I forgot to bring the hidden crossbow for you. Oh, I have four. Oh, okay. Four straight. Uh, we have four uh, shells. Define protection shells. I know, like I said, this card is just a normal defense of spell, pay gauge, nullify the attack, and gain life. So even if you have a monster on the center, it can still work. So that's what this shield's really good right now. Uh, we played a four of, and next is uh, the. I think in one of my previous videos when I did my first Oni Assassin build, I said hiding Oni was the best draw spell in the game. Well, now my opinion has changed to Bonus Quest. Because Bonus Quest just says you discard a size two or greater, you gain two gauge, draw two, and you gain a life. So in this deck where I have nothing but size threes, you just discard and you plus like a lot just for discarding one card. This card is now the best draw engine I've seen in the game so far. Because just discarding one card to gain two, and you gain two gauge and two life. I mean, two gauge, a life, and two draw. So the draw was take you, you plus at least four because you're getting two gauge for one card. You get two cards in hand, but you're still negging two. So technically, it'll be even that one out, and then you get a life. So you plus three. So that being said, bonus quest, best card in game. Next, we play four Demon Lords Invasion. You pay one gauge to add any Demon Lord besides an impact monster. So this lets you get bots if you don't have it or any other card that you'd rather have at that moment in time. This is a normal search spell to thin the deck and get what you need. Next is uh, four Satsuki, uh, the Great Demon Palace. I was wondering if you were going to run that. Yeah, this card is really dope. So uh, when it enter so when you cast it, you have to put two Demon Lord attributes from the drops onto its soul. So then if you don't have a monster in the center, you can call it from your uh, from the soul to the center. So say we have a bots and they... Sh just destroy it with some effect. I don't know what has an effect right now. But say they buki it, or say they the old Schwartz where you discard to blow something up, or whatever. And you don't have a bots, but you have a bots in here. So they say go to attack phase. You say I'm gonna call bots using effect. So then you have another bots in the center. Um, this this also reduces the call cost of any demon lord that's called from anywhere else. So all these one ofs I play, if I discard them with, so I discard a search with bots effect. This reduces it by one, so they would be free, and I just get a free call for nothing. And finally, we play for the new uh, shield for Demon Lords. It is uh, Abominable Ritual with our crazy favorite card ever, Ibuki, on it, acting crazy looking. Um, no five, and Demon Lords being attacked, you gain a gauge, gain a life. So another good shield that's pretty much free. Um, this is one of my newer decks. So this is one of my favorites, probably out of the three that I've, I'm, I'm showing uh, throughout this week for y'all. Um, I'm. I like this deck a lot. I see a lot of potential, but I still feel like they should get some more support. And uh, that's it for the deck profile.